Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm actually making kind of different video. I will be making a video about OSPK. Anyways, I just showed you guys the loading screen because it is pretty special. Also, the login sp screen looks really good. You can also type your name and password and make it remember. Now, the special thing about this video is that this server isn't actually released yet. The server will be released in about two days. Well, I'll show that in just a second. But um, yeah, as you can see, the login screen itself looks really amazing. Anyways, once you actually log in, you will uh, be able to check out the client itself. It looks really nice as well. Um, you do have quite a few settings that you can uh, go over if you go to the settings tab right here. So you can uh, change it to whatever your preference is. Looking at the home area, you just have the bank, box of health, teleport interface, which, which I'll go over in a second. Um, then you also have the Zesma right here for events, so um, you can see what events there are. Uh, you also have a gambler right there, where uh, also a place where you can chat, um, open up bloody key chests if you have the bloody key, where you can change your magics, uh, get a max cape in case you are maxed, prayers and stuff. Um, but besides that, you also have the donator shop, PK point store, um, achievement rewards and all that good stuff right here. So yeah, that's kind of beautiful. Now, um, OSPK obviously will be a PKing server because it has PK in the name. Um, right now the server isn't released yet as I just mentioned. I'll go over that in a second uh, once I showcase the forums because the forums look so beautiful. So I'll go over that right now. Now if you are brand new to the server and you do want a free mystery box you can just go ahead and type the referral code noobs once you join and you will get a free mystery box. So yeah definitely make sure to go ahead and use noobs as a referral code. I'll uh, just flash it on the screen right now as well so you guys know what to do. Now when you are on the forums right now the server isn't released yet so you can see a countdown timer until the server actually releases now the time of me recording this is three days and 11 hours before the actual release I will be uploading this video at exactly two days before the release because I also will announce that I will be doing a live stream on the release itself so definitely stay tuned for that there will be a lot of events that are hosted on my live stream and uh, I'll be doing some PKing and showing off some unique features that are still being worked on at this moment and time which I'll go over in just a second. Now the management team is also hosting a few competitions uh, and giveaways for when the server releases so as you can see there is a complete topic on the forums which I'll link down below in the description but let's go over this as quickly as possible. So as you can see the forum thread basically says that the first 10 players that actually come online have a choice of getting one mystery box, one Arnold Godsword or one prayer scroll either arcane or dexterous to unlock the augury or rigor um, prayer in your prayer tab. Um, but the first actual player that comes online will receive all three of these rewards and the first 10 votes will receive an additional mystery box as well. So definitely make sure you hop on as straight as the server is online to get yourself some free rewards. Also make sure to instantly vote for that free mystery box as well. Now besides that there are three big challenges that they will be doing as well. Starting off with the PvP challenges and rewards. The first player that will uh, achieve 100 kills will receive a Godsword set, an Arcane player scroll and an, a Dexterous prayer scroll uh, once again for the two prayers. The first player that will actually get 250 kills will receive a pair of Dragon Claws which is also very nice because that's actually quite a lot of money. Then the first player to receive 500 kills will receive two legendary mystery boxes and the first player to achieve 750 kills will receive two legendary mystery boxes and an imbued cape scroll which is also very nice but then of course the main prize is the first player to achieve 1000 kills will receive 100 million old school RSGP which is a lot of freaking money. Now besides that there is also some clan pvp challenges for rewards so you can of course make yourself a clan together with some friends go ahead and do some clan pking. Now the first clan to achieve 100 kills will receive 3 imbued cape scrolls for their clan. The first clan to achieve 250 kills will receive 1 arcane spirit shield for the clan. 500 kills will receive a ancestral rope set which is a big prize as well. And then of course the top prize for 1000 kills will be a max set for their clan with a super mystery box for each and every single clan member so that is also very nice. Now of course for the people who rather PVM instead of PK there are also some rewards for PVMing. This can be clan related or solely related this doesn't really matter. 
Now the first player or clan to receive a rare drop will receive a legendary mystery box. So go ahead, go ahead, kill those bosses as quickly as you can to receive that legendary mystery box. Now the first player or clan to receive a pet will also receive a legendary mystery box. So you have some, you have to have some RNG on your side for that one. But you can get that legendary mystery box, which I'll go over in a second as well. I'll be opening a few of each box in just a minute. Now the first player or, or clan to obtain two pets will receive a custom pet scroll, which is very nice as well because there are a few custom pets in game. And the first player or clan to achieve a rare drop from each single boss will receive a custom pet point and the legendary mystery box. Now in addition to all these, on the release itself there will be a lot of PVM mass events, PvP events and clan battles. So definitely make sure once I am live in two days from this upload that you come online and come PK and do some PVM together with the whole community because the release will be very big and very nice. Now if we have a look to the donator shop real quick, as you can see the regular mystery box is 20 tokens, then you have the super mystery box which is 50, legendary mystery box 100, and then there is even a mega mystery box for 150, also a pet mystery box for 200, so these items are quite expensive and you will be, giving the, uh, you will be getting these for free if you just participate in the events uh, announced on the forums and stuff. I'll just be opening up 5 of each box real quick, uh, I think the pet mystery box are the fastest so let me just do that real quick. Alright so for the pet mystery box you can basically get any pet in the game, it's just a random unlock, you can get multiple of the single pet, but um, yeah let's go ahead and unlock all these pets real quick, see what we can get. Um, now from all these mystery boxes you can get yourself some rares as well. Uh, like you can get party hats from the um, regular mystery box up to the me mega mystery box. Of course, the higher the mystery box, the more common they are. So um, yeah, those mystery boxes are definitely nice. It can definitely give you some sweet rewards. As you can see, we just got the almost pet. We also got the demonic gorilla pet. So yeah, that's super nice as well. All right, so I just opened up five of each mystery box, and I gotta say, I got insanely lucky on my mega mystery boxes. I basically just opened five and got five rare rewards. So as you can see I got a red party hat, two twisted bows, a grassy rapier and a rainbow party hat. Now this is super expensive, like these items alone cost more than basically all the mystery boxes that I just opened together. So yeah, that's quite insane. Um, so super lucky on those. From the others, I didn't get that lucky. I just got an ancestral rope top from the others and for the rest some standard items. So yeah, these mystery boxes can give some insane loot like the rainbow party hat, which is, I still can't believe my luck. Also the two twisted bows, that is super insane. But anyways, of course, I'm just going to show off the uh, teleports as well because the teleport interface looks quite nice. So um, yeah, as you can see, you have the regular monster teleports to go ahead and do some Slayer if you want to. You have a bunch of, of bosses that you can actually go to, as you can see. You have Vorkov, Kraken, Abyssal, Sire, Scorpia, Ice Strike, Quorum, Scales, Fnatic, and a bunch more. And then you have some scaling teleports to, of course, get yourselves that uh, sexy ma uh, max cape. And because this is a PKing server, you do have a ton of uh, wilderness teleports, as you can see right here. You can go to Torment Demons, Lava Dragons, Revenant Caves, Demonic Runes, and a bunch more to go ahead and go s do some PKing. You also have a few mini games like Dual Arena, Item Doubler, Dicing, Barrows, and stuff. But there are still some mini games being worked on right now. The Inferno should be done by release, as I have heard. There are also a few other money making methods that are in the progress right now that will be finished by the time the server is released releasing so yeah that is very nice as well and of course you still have the city teleports to go to if you want to um, just do some clue scrolls or whatever now for the rest if you are a new pk and you want to learn how to pk before you actually go ahead and fight some other players there are also bots in the wilderness that you can actually kill now these bots are pretty easy they basically have standard loadouts um, by the way, you can get yourself a free standard preset if you go to here. You can get yourself like a Zerker melee, Barrage, uh, 126 melee, which is basically maxed. But you can also save your custom presets right here. For example, if I want to uh, name my preset Sexy Outfit uh, and don't fail typing, you can do that like that. And then once you click on this, you will uh, equip the Sexy Outfit and 
Then you have your loadout equipped. Of course, you have to bank it first if you uh, want to see any changes. But yeah, you can do that, of course. Also, at the home area, you do have a dual arena right here where you can go ahead and stake if you want to. So you don't actually have to go ahead and run that fast or teleport to the dual arena. You can just go right here and do it right there. Besides that, I don't want to take any more of your time of this day. I just want to announce that everyone is welcome on my stream in two days from this upload. So at exactly the time that the server will go live, I will be live streaming the release of the server. So definitely make sure you are online to get some of those free rewards and do uh, participate in some events together with me. Hopefully we can get have like a super awesome time. So yeah, let's hope we can do that. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.